So the halacha, we're learning for Shalema for Rav Yitzchak and Rav Batya and Rav Yitzchak and Rav Chava and Rav Yitzchak and my Miriam and Chaim Shnei Zalman Ben Miriam. All those who need for Shalema. And Chaim Shnei Zalman Ben Miriam. Chaim Shnei Zalman Ben Miriam. All those who need the Fuah Shalema, and we're also learning the Ilu Nishmat, Naomi, Pat, Tova. So we learned uh, the laws about uh, checking vegetables and, and making sure there's no uh, bugs, uh, ants, no bugs, no ants, making sure that it's clean. So it says, who can be who can we rely on uh, for worms, making sure that there's no, uh, making sure that, who can be the one to check? So every man, woman, and included in that uh, category, men, women, it's uh, a boy that is a 13 year old, or a girl, 12 year, 12 year uh, tw if she's 12 years old, and on, we trust her uh, checking or trust him for checking for worms. Even if it's something that you know that usually have worms, if they said they checked it, you can uh, rely on them. But they need to know first what type of food it is that they're looking at. If it's kale, they need to know it's kale, broccoli, cauliflower, lettuce, whatever it is, they need to know what is it? They need to know what to look for and how to look. So you can train them, but somebody has to teach them. Because every uh, vegetable can have a different uh, hot spot of where uh, that the worms can be found. But a minor that is under this age, uh, is under 12 or 13, or a Jew that is not uh, observant, and a non-Jew, are not to be trusted to check for bugs. And that's why, and as I mentioned yesterday, a person should not go to a, should not go to a restaurant and buy, and buy a, 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 even if he buys a smoothie, a, a juice, something, vegetables that were juiced, because uh, you don't know, they obviously didn't check. And even if they checked, you can't really trust them if they're not uh, observant Jews. And uh, if they're non-Jews, of course you can't trust them. And a, a woman that is, a, her vision is not so good. If she can use, uh, if she's using glasses or she's using magnifying uh, glass and she checked, you can rely on her, uh, on her checking. And if she checked food for, for worms and after she checked, you come to eat it and you see a bug and it's visible. It's not like it was, like it was concealed uh, somewhere in the bottom, you see it. Uh, so obviously, it shakes her trustworthiness, and uh, you shouldn't be trusting her again. It's like in the laws of shechita. If a shechet, you checked his knife, and you see that there's an issue, and again, it's an issue, then you but can't really. Wife, yeah? can't tr it says it doesn't say your wife. It says a woman that doesn't have a good vision, and she's using magnifying glasses and she's using instruments to to check. And after her checking, you see bugs uh, crawling away, then it's, it's, it's an issue. Unless, he writes, unless there is a possibility that the bug fell into the food after her checking. If you would, uh, you, can, you can suspect that the bug fell into the food after her, her checking, then you can't blame her. But if you know that there was no way that anything fell, she checked and her checking was, uh, was not good because of her. Uh, the, her vision, the issue with her uh, eye, eyesight, then you shouldn't uh, trust her again. Yeah, I don't know why to use uh, <laughs> a woman that doesn't see well. I, 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 was, I would assume that, uh, that usually they're the one that uh, are preparing the food, so they wrote it. 